Where were you living when this happened? The the heart the fifty four. You know what a sonnet it is? No. Sonnet, I'll get the sonnet village. Yeah. Instead of training. Yeah. If I'm going up, if I'm going up North Main Street in Fall River, then yeah. I'm going into a summit that way. Yeah. Okay. okay. Instead of turning right, like to go up to Macavas, you turn left. Okay. And I was the second or third house on the towards the water. Yeah. And I was downstairs, like a cute room. Oh, that was a nice, nice apartment. Only a room. Did you have, did you have George and Gilda? Oh yes, I did. We, fortunately, we had gotten out. Didn't know he'd gone to work at what a cemetery, and we had the radio on, and they said, "Well, it's quite a storm coming off of uh, Long Island, and she is no lady." So, I just Roy picked me up. Roy was he used to bring the mail, go get the mail in Florida, bring it back to his home post office. And then he picked me up. And well I would be the first day he was gonna be bringing me up there. And, and take take me to work. But leave the kids off. Uh, I guess we leave one off at like one eight one and then I would leave me off to work and then he would take the other one over to Helen. Because Helen had to one and Mrs. Haskins had another. About 8.30, I had no power. We had, yeah, in the mill. And, uh, well, some larger typewriters, and you can't do too much in. So, we walked up, I walked up to Roy's, and uh, he had already come in, and he had said, don't let her, uh, don't let her go. She's out. Because he'd been down there trying to pull my stuff out. Mm. What, do you, what do you mean he said, don't let her go? Out. Well, he would, it didn't, don't let her think she's going home. <laughs> okay. You know, well, there was no way for me to go home anyway. Yeah. Um, but or something, to that, or something like that. I don't know exactly what it was. But, uh, anyway. Uh, but they... They had taken my stuff as much as they could of my furniture, as much as they could, and brought it upstairs on the next floor to this woman's house apartment upstairs. And, uh, but it came right up the stick. It didn't, didn't, didn't get her, but it did. Well, it came right, well, it was eight foot ceilings. Or it was, walked in, like he says, towels I never used from in the boxes. Uh, that I had wedding gifts, because that was wedding gifts in those days, strewn all over the floor. Diapers, because I had the diaper pail, all over the floor, everything, everything. The pressure of that water coming up moved our refrigerator out. Um, I mean, it was across the room. It stink. Take the refrigerator right up. It was on the other side of the room. Yeah. Brand new. What kind was it? Frigid air. Yeah. So, I I went to my mother's. She wasn't there. She was visiting in Rockland. And of course, no power. So you had to bring your water up. To go down to the well. Bring your water up that way. To wash clothes or, you know, to general anything. Yeah. She had gas. So at least we had something to cook with. She came home a few days later. I had just moved out of there. I just left her. <laughs>